I'm Preston. And we're going to try and break down the basic step of the Lindy Hop that we teach in Middlebury for all the beginners out there to fully learn. So we're going to start with the lead basic step. Rock, step, triple step. Rock, step, triple step. The basic step for a lead in uh, Lindy Hop is a rock, step, triple step, rock, step, triple step. So now I'll break it down for you. Um, you're starting with your left foot in a backwards motion. You're rocking back on it. You always have your weight on the foot in which you're stepping on, which is very important. So it's a backwards rock with your left foot and then a step with your right foot. So rock, step, triple step. The triple stepping in motion, you should be parallel to your previous position. For the very first half of the basic, you're stepping backwards and on your second step, you're turning your foot slightly in preparation for your rotation. You're always turning um, over your left shoulder. So, once again, it looks like this. Rock, step, triple step. The second half of the basic is the same thing essentially, except you're on a different foot now. So you start backwards with your right foot, rock, step, triple step. So for this move, you're rocking backwards with your right foot, you're turning it slightly in pre preparation for that same rotation, step, you're also turning it because you are going to rotate, triple step. So one more time, all together, it is rock, step, triple step, rock, step, triple step. Rock, step, triple step, rock, step, triple step. So the follows are essentially always going to be moving forward. Now the first step you take is on your right foot, so you step. The second step is you're starting to turn, so it's a bit of a pivot where you're stepping and turning, preparing to do a triple step. So to go over that again, you move on your right foot, start turning on your left foot, triple step. Now, to go back, you're doing the same movements, but with your different leg. So since we started on the right before, we're starting on the left now. So it's a step with your left, start turning with your right, and then triple step. Now it's key to, to remember that you're always turning over your left shoulder, or clockwise if you prefer. Personally, I'm not a big fan of thinking of a watch. So, you're always turning in the same direction, always going to be going in a circle. So it'll be step, step, triple step, 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 triple step. Now as you get more into Lindy, you'll start turning faster or slower depending on what you prefer. But in general, it's on that second step that you start turning your body. And you'll see why when we put this together with our leads. for the arms, open and closed. This is open. Open. Um, notice how the elbows are slightly bent and um, they should be also slightly locked. There should be a tension between you and your partner allowing you to move your partner wherever you wish. It's very important that you have this um, frame and not these sloppy arms. I can't really move Eleni if she has sloppy arms. No, no. It's important to have frame. So this is open position. Close position looks like this. Um, notice how where my hand rests, it's on a Lenny shoulder blade, not on her waist and not any lower. Yes. Um, follows, your arm is on your lead's shoulder and your elbow is resting on your lead's elbow. Uh, notice how um, 
our arms create a curve, it's a curve. It's important for the maneuvering. Also note that we're not extremely far apart, not awkward, but we're also not stuck together. No. There is a comfortable distance um, so that allows us to maneuver and do the first moves which require movement. So let's see how our steps connect with what our arms are doing. So our first step is going to be in open, which is where the sorry, the follows step forward and the lead step back. So that's one. We're still in open. Now in two, where we're both starting to rotate, but we haven't fully turned, we're going to come together in closed position. So, step. Then on three, we stay enclosed and we both rotate together to do the triple step. Triple step. So let's go over that again. We're in open. We go step, step, triple step. So now we start from closed and we do the movements that we learned previously. So, the follows are going to step forward and the leads again are going to step back, back using the different foot. So, step, we're still enclosed. The second step, we're going to start rotating again and we're going to stay enclosed. Step, and as we do the triple step, we start letting go. Triple step. So essentially, the follows during this movement may need to take an extra step back whilst they're doing their triple step so as to create the open position with their partner. Let's go through the whole thing. One more time, a little bit faster. It's important for the leads to remember, um, on their very first step backwards, they're pulling the follow towards them. Step, step, triple step. As well as on the second half of the basic, they're pulling the lead, uh, the, they're pulling their follow into a rotation with their um, right arm on the shoulder blade. So it's lock, step, triple step. You're guiding your follow to do these movements. One important thing to remember as a follow is to really um, do what your lead is telling you through the movement of the arms. Um, you might be going through the step and going to the music, but if your lead is going to a different beat or is going faster or slower, you need to be following your lead and not be going through the step motion of step, step, triple step. So if he maybe rotates a little bit faster or sooner than I expect, I still have to rotate with my lead not to rotate at the point that I have learned. Um, so if you need to watch that again, go back and play it again, and hopefully we helped. Hopefully. Uh, here is um, some examples of the basic step with music. 